Hi, my name is Greg Undo. I'm with Steinberg North America. We're here at the AES show, and we're showing our brand newly shipping uh, the Yamaha Steinberg audio interfaces. So what we have is a Steinberg MR816 CSX. So we're going to have two different models. They have the same I.O. configurations. One will have uh, one DSP chip, and this will have two DSP chips. So the I.O. configuration will have eight Class A discrete mic preamps with inverted Darlington circuits. So it kind of gives a really punchy sound, but also is not harsh in the mid-range. We have eight channels of ADAT digital connection, SPDIF, word clock in and out, as well as analog inserts on inputs one and two with high Z input for connecting guitar bass. Now, one of the things we want to do is to have very tight integration between the hardware and software that we've never seen before. For instance, if I'm doing a tracking session, I can do many parameters just from touching the front panels here. So, for instance, I want to set my input. Right now in Cubase, I don't have any inputs defined. But if I come over here, I see no bus. So I can just come here, hit the button here. That will automatically, we call this quick connect, will add the bus here, as well as assign that input channel directly to, this, to the track itself. Now, we can also do many other things very quickly from the front panel. So if I'm kind of knob-oriented, I don't have to do everything software-based. So if I want to add phantom power, I could do that. Let's say I'm miking up a drum kit. I could add phantom power individually. So if I want this uh, condenser mic with phantom power in my hi-hat, as well as my overhead mics, I could do that. So I can individually set my phantom power or my pad. So I can say I want it my pad only on my snare drum. So I could assign my pad and phantom power. Now if I come over here, let's say I wanted to go into my Cubase you know, or Nuendo. What happens with most interfaces, I have to go into a control panel and do my settings there. But with this, I could actually just simply open up my mixer inside of Cubase and then we have our input channels. And what I can do here now is select hardware. So as soon as the hardware is connected, I can now come right here and open up my hardware interface. So not only can I invert the phase, I can have a high pass filter, but what the great thing is with this box, we're gonna have one DSP chip that'll power the world famous Yamaha Rev X reverb in the 816X. So Rev X for this 816X. Now we have the 816CSX, which had two DSP chips. So that will power the Yamaha Rev X reverb plus eight channels of compression and EQ. And the beautiful thing about this whole system is no latency. So if I wanted to come over here, if I wanted to open up my reverb, I could just simply open it up as a plug-in right here. So now as I do that, I can now just simply open up my reverb send directly there. So as I do this, I can have more reverb or less reverb. Now, if I come here, <clears throat> I could also enable our morphing channel strip. So if I open that up, I can come right over here, and now I have my morphing channel strip here. So I can apply compression and EQ. Now I can adjust my EQ independently here, so I adjust my gain. I can do it with my typical software controls. But what's really unique is what we call a morphing channel strip. So what this will do is it'll give you optimum presets between kind of your actual compression and EQ. So you can just kind of morph so that everything is optimized. So if you wanted something to have a nice, to add a little more high end, you want more mid range, more low end, a kind of a smiley face EQ, more mid range, you can just simply dial in the optimum settings between a compression and EQ. So a brand new design from the Yamaha DSP engineers. Now one of the coolest things is I can also come over here. Now most systems I can monitor with my reverb, so see my reverb plug-in hiding there. So if I wanted to come over here, I could monitor with the reverb with no latency, or I could also monitor with my compression and EQ on every single channel. But if I wanted to take it one step further, I can just simply move this line down, and that will allow me to actually record and print with the EQ and compression on every analog input. So I have eight channels of compression EQ with, late, with no latency and monitor with the reverb. So I can record and print and monitor with the, with the compression EQ and monitor with the reverb. Now one of the tricky things gets to be with headphones. How do I actually set up my headphone mixes? So I can come right here. Now Cubase and Nuendo have very powerful control room section. So if I come over here, I could actually just set up my control room. And then if I will go to my VST connections really quickly, and I'll say, okay, I want to go to my drum booth. So I'll set up this and route it to different analog inputs or digital connections here. So if I wanted to have set up different headphone mixes for a singer or a drummer where they need to hear different elements of the mix, I now have two independent headphone controls. So these are separate from my main control room. So now I can come here and on my master settings, I can say I want my drum booth to go out of headphone one. I want my vocal booth to go out of headphone one. So now I can just set my actual headphone control volumes. Now, I could also come over here and say I want more reverb 
in the control room. The drummer wants to hear less reverb, and the vocalist needs to hear more reverb as they sing. Now, as opposed to every other Firewire audio interface, when we do this, it's no latency. So it's not like I'm running and monitoring with uh, plugins I can't access. I'm not monitoring with plugins that will impose latency. All the power is coming from the actual DSP on the units itself. So instead of a Firewire audio experience that people are used to, this is more like a digital mixer without the faders. Now, what else is cool is, let's say I wanted to shut off my DSP. I could also take this and go, I want to take this and I could b bypass my ADAT and digital inputs and I could go to any audio track and come right here and I could now just simply open these up as plugins. <clears throat> so I could use those during my audio mix down process as well. So for each unit on my MR816 CSX, I could have up to a stereo reverb and six channels of compression or I could have eight channels of compression. So what I can have is not only eight Class A discrete mic breeze within, with a high quality inverted Darlington strip, I get eight channels of compression, eight channels of EQ that I can monitor or record, I have a world class reverb, I have my audio interface, I have my converter, I have my headphone monitoring system, and a DSP accelerator. And the best part is, we have, it comes with Cubase AI, which stands for the Advanced Integration. So out of the box, it's going to be a great solution. So the 816X is selling for on the street for $999. The 816CSX, which has the reverb and the eight channels of morphing compression EQ, $1,199. So again, taking the le highest level of software and hardware integration ever seen on the market.